I'm building a router table extension for my DeWalt um, contractor saw. It's a DWE 7491. It's uh, one that you can fold up and take to different job sites. Except I don't take it anywhere. It sits out here in my back patio. The other day I was making a project and I really needed a router table and I thought it would be great to have something that's part of the saw. So what I've done is I built a router lift. Now this is by, uh, the design is Matthias Wendell. I'll put a link to his name in the, uh, down below. But anyway, this is a, uh, just a wooden gear router lift and it has a pretty much a two to one uh, ratio on the main input shaft to the lift gear and then this is a, a 3816 so um, one turn of this is one sixteenth of an inch and since this is two to one Bottom line is you can do some really fine adjustments. And then on the back here, once you get adjusted the height you want, you can lock it with this and it won't go anywhere. And when you want to raise it or lower it. Um, one thing I've done um, that's not in the plans. Let's see if I can, if you can see it in here. Right in here, this screw, I had it go up a little high. And the reason for that is if I want, I can drill a hole up above here, put a hex nut on that, and then drive it up and down from the top instead of from the, the back. Um, I don't know if that's, if I need to do that or if it's practical or not, but uh, that's just an idea. Now the idea of this is this will fit in here and I've got a couple my arms in the way got a couple brackets that will hold it in place and these things here and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute this is what the underside looks like you can see a bracket right there I've drilled and tapped into the frame of the saw. There's the same thing on the other side. And then here I've got a support rail that comes down and it's just sitting on the frame of the saw. It's got a little bit of uh, wiggle room there. That's just to hold uh, the cantilevered weight of the table. And then I left a slot in here so I can adjust this back and forth and level it. Okay, this is what it looks like installed. You can see I made a slight little screw up and I didn't get this centered so I had to redrill these holes. What I did is I machined this out for one of these plates so that uh, you can put in some pins in here if you're uh, machining and you have or uh, routing and like you're using a pulley, uh, not a pulley, a uh, bearing to hold the depth, um, so that'll just fit in there. So what you do here, okay? So I left this big enough here to fit my wrenches in, so I can tighten up my collet. And then you put the frame in there and then you, know, you call it fits in there and then you can uh, lower it down to the height you need. And then this frame works. Now there's another item here. I've got this fence and I can make this as thick as I want. It clamps on to my other fence. There we 
we go. So I can go ahead and run this in, cut out a slot in here, and I can use this fence to rip if I'm not using a uh, pin or something in there. So I've got this, and I can, you know, glue another block on here and make this as deep as I need to so I don't go into my original fence. And then if I'm using my table saw, I can go ahead and uh, lower this down. This sometimes I use with my table saw, so it may or may not be on there. Pull that off. So that's it. Nice little extension. It gives me uh, a little more surface area on the table anyway when I'm uh, doing wide boards. But uh, I thought that was a nice handy little handy little way to make my router table.